Hello, everyone again out in YouTube world. 251.50 coming to you live on a Friday. And don't forget, don't forget, red. Remember, everyone deployed. Today, Friday, and every Friday until all of our loved ones come home, all our troops. Today, we're going to talk about my cold steel collection if you were wondering what was in this box what's in the box what's in the box okay first let's get this guy out of the way see this picture okay this is the cold steel trailhawk that's what it looked like when i bought it here's another picture from the other side well it was naked and I needed to dress it. The worst part was trying to remove that steel, you know, the blade. I, if you can see in the photos, you know, I finally got it off, but it chipped a lot, you know, the wood. But um, after, uh, you know, some sanding, after I uh, put a finish on it, oh, I'm sorry, I sanded it. And then I stuck it on my uh, grill with some charcoal and um, I, I kind of made uh, some, uh, you know, charcoal marks. And then I sanded it again and then I finished it and then I dressed it up and I bought a sheath for the blade. So here is my trail hook. I put a leather uh, strap around it. I have some uh, brown leather, like leather tape. I had originally black tape, but I just didn't like it, so I removed it. That um, that nut that was once in there is now gone. And, oh, and I got rid of uh, that black, you know, coating that was on there. Basically to the best uh, of my ability, but I think it looks cool. And it's sharp as hell. I, I sharpen this by using the puck. And the puck works phenomenally. I use some leather um, laces to secure that bad boy up there. It ain't going nowhere. And this here was actually my leather tie straps for spurs. But I'm not doing any horse riding anymore. So I'm not really using spurs. So I sold them and I was like, hey, I got a strap. So... I'm not gonna do any throwing today, right? But um, it works. Uh, I, cause I had to test it just to see if that leather lace was gonna be too much. But anyway, and that's a cool little sheath too, right? All right? You agree? You agree? Anyway, my cold steel trail hook. Let's get the big boy out of the way. Next in line I saw reviews on this and I had to have it this is the cold steel uh, what do you call it true flight the true flight wrapped in power cord it's got the black coating beautiful and it throws amazing once again I'm not doing any throwing today right uh, you feel that wind you feel it yeah my hat's getting ready to go so anyway this is the True Flight, another great seller by Cold Steel. Very happy with this thing. If you want to see this thing actually do a True Flight, check out Donnie B All Day's videos. <laughs> He'll do it for you. Then one of my favorites, this classic Cold Steel boot knife. This thing is amazing. I got like three or four boot knives. This is the best. All right. Look at that blade. I love it this knife they call this the peacemaker love this blade let's see here yeah my favorite boot, boot knife it is stays in there nice too i love cold steel sheaths okay let's see what else oh here we go probably my second favorite of the cold steel there we go the Old West Bowie Knife. 
saw a video on this one and I had to have it. So, damn it, I'm gonna spoil myself rotten. I sold a lot of cowboy boots to get a lot of this stuff. So, <laughs> uh, this is a, yeah, called the, uh, the Cold Steel, I think 81B, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, it's, you know, like the W, you know, 49, the Western, I love it. Um, pretty damn sharp too. Full tang, well made, high quality. That sheath is leather. It's got the dangler, that little uh, tie on the bottom there. Um, I think I put that tie on there. I'm not sure. I do, um, I don't know, I don't remember. I do have that kind of cord. Nah, I don't think I did that. Yeah, okay, so that came with the sheet, all right? The dangler, all right, that takes care of that. Now, let's see, we're getting into what is this? What is this one? Yeah, this is a pretty one. Here we go. These are all amazing. Got that killer sheath. Oh, this is the uh, Marauder. 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 However you guys want to pronounce it. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, the Marauder. There we go. Another, another beauty. Very happy with this knife. Sharp as hell. You will cut yourself if you're not careful. This thing is bad ass. Um, don't know about the full tang. Have to look that up. But uh, doesn't matter. Because only some knives can get away without being full tang. And, uh, I believe Cold Steel is one of them. The other one is Hen and Rooster. Another favorite. So that's the Marauder. Getting down to the bottom here. Should we do, let's see. All right. Okay. Yeah, might as well. This guy here is the Cold Steel Laredo Practice Rubber Knife. And I purchased this thing because I didn't feel like cutting myself, so I did practice and practice does make perfect. Highly recommend for those of you that are losing fingers. <laughs> so it's like a replica of the Laredo. And now let me show you the Laredo. I believe this is it, is this it? Laredo Bowie, Bowie, Bowie. Killer sheath. All right, there we go. There's the fake one, and there's the real one. Real, just in case you guys can't tell. But how cool is that? So after, uh, you know, practicing with this, of course, the first thing I did was tried it out on this, and it helped, you know. So always wear your uh, safety goggles if you wanna do your little you know, tricks with your, you know, sharp ass blades. But if you're a little uncoordinated like my fat ass, hey, get the Cold Steel Laredo practice knife. Okay? Highly recommend. All right, we're almost done. Almost done. Okay, this guy is the Cold Steel Send my three. Yep. Trailmaster. Okay, yeah. The Send my, uh, how does that say? Yeah, three. Uh, my, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. All I know is, is this steel is badass. Best steel on the planet, in my opinion. I was so happy to receive this in the mail. Comparing them to the rest, this is probably one of my favorites. Uh, it's like it's like number what, number two or three, because I do have my favorite. And I actually, it's three, it's number three. All right, look at that beauty. God, oh, she is dangerous. She will bite if not careful. 
the Trail Master by Cold Steel. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. This guy here is probably my second. This is the Cold Steel San Mai 3 SRK. Look at that beauty. Look at that steel. I say look at it as if you're looking away. This is, I, I love the size. Um, an excellent, excellent piece to carry. Um, it's got, it's got a beautiful weight to it. Sharp as sharp can get. Be very careful taking this out of the box. Highly recommend the SRK San Mai 3. San Mai 3, San Mai, San Mai, SRK. You will thank me. Check it out. And last but not least, idiot me had this in my possession for just a little over, I don't know, maybe two months. And I did my Expendables knife collection. And somebody had said, hey, don't forget about the Espada. And I'm like, damn. So I quick, I got it, I purchased it. Oh my God, this thing is scary. After watching Mickey work with it in the Expendables, I'm like, I gotta have it, I can never afford it. So I had to, you know, of course, sell some more stuff on eBay and it allowed me to get the Espada. I keep, I keep this with my Expendables collection. And then when I took another look at the box, I go, it's a Cold Steel. How come I didn't know that? Also brought to you by Cold Steel, the Espada. Beautiful. And I got the, uh, the polished handle. I know they, they're selling them for a little cheaper using a, I, I, what is it, G10 or something? I'm not sure, but I did get the original polished. And uh, I mean, this this thing, I, I, I treasure this. I really do. This and the, uh, the SRK are just, you know, treasured and cherished. I mean, talk about sharp. I don't want to. No, he's taking another picture, but I'm not gonna wanna because it was only for the video. Just to show you. Oh my god. Look at that. I see my wife staring out the window. She's laughing at me. She wants to go get something to eat. I said not till after I shoot this video. <laughs> god I gotta love it. Watch me stab myself. And I still post it too. <laughs> anyway, highly recommend the Espada. It's like a dream come true. That pretty much would uh, complete my Expendables knife collection. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I do one with just the Expendables, but it wasn't complete till I received one or two more. Then I did a Rambo Expendables, which is a classic. And uh, that included the Espada. And, uh, so there you have it. That's my favorite cold steel right there. All right. Now I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go grab something to eat with me wife. And uh, remember, as I always say, let's be careful out there. And don't forget about the Red Fridays. Remember all those being deployed right now. Let's get them all home safe. Every last one of them. All right. Uh, that's it. Signing off. Have a good day. Goodbye. Shut it off. Hit it.